Hello everyone, my name is Luis Dentinho. This is my friend and student Duke. Today I would like to demonstrate scissor sweep on closed guard. Basic application is stress, variation, and the right time to apply the scissor sweep. Scissor sweep is still work against black belts, any belt you need just to know the right time to go. Okay, so please can I go to my close guard? So guys, let's work in the basic application. I want to demonstrate some, some mistake that I see and how to apply right, okay? So right here guys, scissor sweep, we make a grip in the cross follow and then the same side I control the sleeve. You can make a piece of grip or four fingers grip. Cross follow. Usually we control the same line of the shoulder. Scissor sweep, uh, we, we go to scissor sweep when we cannot go deep in the hip follow, we go to cross show. So my first attempt is going to be going for the cross show. If I fail the grip because he has a very good posture, he's going to make a grip in the shoulder. Grip in the shoulder cannot bring, bring him forward. That's why we go to scissor sweep. So I control, claw, and add everything on the same side. Now I'm going to move my hip. Then I connect my leg and move my upper body. Drop my knee. Heel off the ground. I will bring him forward using my collar, using his collar and his arm. I want his weight on this leg. I'm pulling the collar, arm, and then the weight on the same side. So then I can go straight him out. Right now I have a brush show. Okay? So right here, one mistake that I see, one basic mistake is people step the leg on the ground. Once I step the leg on the ground, opposite leg, he can step his leg too. Right now, he's gonna prevent me to cross the leg on his body. Come back please. So that's why I will extend my leg and take my hip off the ground. Now I just face my knee toward his hip and then I connect the leg. Move the upper body to apply the scissor. Another mistake is the knee facing up. If my knee facing up, if he just dropped the weight to the side, now it's gonna be impossible for me to go. All right? I need to face my hip completely to the side that I want to go. Everything. If my knee face like this, I'm just half way to the side that I want to go. I need to go like 100%, everything, so drop right here. Now, I don't want to kick him to the side. I will twist, I'm gonna use my leg just like a knife like this was on his body, okay? Like this, so I'm gonna bring him forward, everything, and I'm gonna twist in the same time. And he is back going to the ground. Let's talk about now, guys, the bottom leg right here. One mistake, if my heel is on the ground, as soon as I go, boom, he can drop the leg, uh, he step over, all right? So that's why my knee is on the ground, but my hip is off the ground, my, my, my heel. If he tries to step over, I'm going to hook his leg. And also, if I sweep him, okay, I sweep him, as soon as I land right here, I don't have hooks. He can bring his leg and then attack foot log or sweep. All right, so that's why it's so important for me to hook, to, to keep my heel off the ground. So again, close the guard, control the collar, control the sleeve, hip off the ground, move. Bring him. If my body is close to my leg, it's gonna be hard for me to bring, so it's important for me to move my body. All right, move. Keep, hook right there. Hand deep in the collar. Now you can go for the cross show, okay? Another situation that can happen, see the sweep work because my opponent face into the frame, okay? This is right here, guys, is the frame. I want to twist his body. If he face into the same side, now I don't have the basic application anymore. It's when I will move my upper body a little bit more, my hip, so I can connect my leg. Now I will keep bringing him forward and then open the leg, kicking. Switch, sweep him, going straight to my muscle. My heel, my heel, my, my hook is gonna, my, my, is gonna prevent him to don't move the hip back. So I'm gonna bring my heel so I can keep tight. Again. He facing to my leg, yes. 
If I just move my upper body, I don't have flexibility. So I need to move my hip and upper body. Now I can go. Go straight to mount. Now guys, what is the right time to apply? If my opponent is facing straight to me, it's gonna be very hard for me to twist his back, okay? So, I talk about this guys in, in, in all the videos, okay? That I like to, to control both sleeves. If, if I want to make a grip in the cross collar, I need to move my hip. Try to push my leg right now, now it's gonna be a hard for him. If I let go the, this sleeve with my back flat on the ground, is when he, he can start pushing. He wants to touch my knee on the ground, all right? So right here. Let's say I'm, I made this mistake. He start pushing. Before he touch my knee on the ground, I will extend my leg and then put my heel on the ground. Now I can move. So once he wants to push my knee, he will face into my knee. Look at his body there, okay? Come back, please. I control, he start facing to my leg and then start pushing. Before he touch my knee on the ground, I will extend. Now I can go. It's when I have the perfect angle to apply the sweep. Again, holding his face into my knee to start pushing. Extend the leg, face the knee. You can even put your heel on the ground, that's okay right now. Bring your leg in, drop the knee, move everything. Then we can go for the regular brush show. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you guys, you guys enjoyed this technique. Guys, I use scissor sweep from a lot of different situations. You need just to wait for the perfect time. Every technique is uh, like like the, uh, the basic jiu jitsu work very well from white to black belt. One thing that that I see like people like failing a lot is because they don't have the right timing to apply, they don't know when. You learn a straight time lock, but you don't know when you're gonna apply. Okay, the straight time lock. So, so the uh, uh, arm position, if you have a close guard, somebody put the hand on your uh, chest lining up, is when you have time to go because you can move your hip. If the guy keep the hand, chest lying down, you don't have, so if, if you try to go at the wrong time, is when you start using strength, okay? It's when people start like trying to learn some very complicated techniques that like requires like flexibility, strength, speed, okay? Uh, uh, the perfect jiu-jitsu for, for everyone is like, you know you need flexibility, you know you need strength, you, you need just timing, all right? To apply the perfect technique, okay? The basic jiu-jitsu. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my Instagram is Brazil Jiu Jitsu and YouTube Dentinho BJJ. Don't, don't forget to follow me both, okay? Thank you. Peace.